I thought I saw somebody on the terrace. What are you doing? I came to see JR. We have to go over press release. Huh. Well, JR is, um, he's busy at the moment, you know. He's with his family. Right. Work and wait. I'll just, um, bye. Annie. Next time, why don't you use the front door? Silly. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a doctor, you know, I shouldn't be scared to give birth. I've done it before. But now I'm in the dark, and I just don't know how I'm going to get through all of that without being able to see my doctor, you know, or my husband, or my baby. Take a deep breath, Angie. We still have plenty of time to prepare. You'll be ready. But what about when we get home from the hospital? I mean, that's when the real work starts. How will Jesse and I manage all of that? You just will. And I'll do everything that I can to make it easier for you. Have you talked to Jesse about what you're feeling? No. No, I, I don't want him to worry. I want him to believe that I can do all of this. You need to believe you can do all of this. Because you can. What's going on? Uh, Madison came over because um, she wanted to talk to me about something. I, um, I'm quitting Fusion. I love it, but it's, it's time to move on. And you came here to tell Ryan about it? I have to go. Madison, please stay. We can, we can talk about this, no, please. No, Ryan, we can't. Madison. Just let her go. Oh. She's, she's just she did man. what she needed to do. She just respect her choice. Take it, take it, take it. Okay. Hey, uh, Dan, yeah, no, I'm just gonna pull off the facts right now. Good, you're still here. This elevator takes forever. Madison, I'm sorry you were shot. <laughs> I'm sorry that your breakup with Ryan was very painful, but you need to stop coming around here. You didn't come here to quit Fusion. Leave me alone. I can't. Because you won't leave Ryan alone. You don't understand. No, I don't. You told Ryan to stay away from you, and then I come home and you're with him. I wasn't... I, I just needed to... Never mind. You may not believe this, Madison, but I do feel for you. I'm genuinely sorry for everything you've gone through. And I'm not just talking about the shooting. Should have worn my bulletproof vest. This building is dangerous. So is holding on to something that's over. You think I came here to try to get Ryan back? You two are serious. I get that. But you need to move on with your life. Coming here was a mistake. It won't happen again. Most mothers don't realize how much they rely on senses other than sight when caring for their baby. I don't have a choice. Listening to your baby will be critical, especially when learning to recognize the different cries, knowing if they're hungry, tired, wet, or in pain. What if I can't tell? You'll ask your husband or family for help. You know, I've spent my life protecting my children, and it's been tough. I mean, even with my sight. I'm not worried about you. You're running this hospital just fine. You'll adapt. Blind and sleep deprived. I mean, I could easily reach out for the wrong thing. And, it, it, and then there's the clothing, the bathing. You'll have help. But I don't want help. I want to be able to do this my, my, myself. You know, I, I don't want my child thinking of me as some helpless cripple. That is not who Angie, I am. Angie. You know, I mean, at, at least a newborn will stay in one place. But I mean, 
before long, there's the, the crawling, the walking. I mean, what if, what if my child is headed for a hot stove, about to fall, and, and I have no idea? Well, mobility is a long way off. Yeah, but it's coming. All of it. I remember how active Frankie was. I mean, he was climbing onto everything and, 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 and trying to get into every cabinet. That's what baby-proofing is for. Who will baby-proof me? So we got the lights going. We've got ornaments for adults, ornaments for kids. We've got to save some for Colby. She's going to be back from her exams. And uh, hi. Where did you go? I just needed some air, some time to think. Who are you? What do you mean? I mean, one day you're threatening to take my son away from me, and the next you're inviting us to spend Christmas together. It's, it's like you've become a different person overnight. Yeah, I'm the same person, just a different perspective. Yeah, just like that? Your father's in a coma. Zack Slater's dead. They don't get another chance. But you do? Well, I hope so. Marissa, I have so many regrets. The top of my list is hurting you. Now, I, I know that you're not sure if what I'm saying is the truth. I don't blame you. I put you through hell. But I'm hoping maybe at some point you might actually trust me. Hey, so who wants to do up the tree? Yeah. Get your coats, okay? Oh, help us, Mommy. Oh. I must have left it on the edge of the table. I'll get you another one. You can have this one, Mommy, because I love you so much. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Hey, let's go decorate the tree, okay? We'll go put this on. <laughs> I talked to you for a second. I was going to help AJ. It's Jack. important. So Annie was here a minute ago. Yes, she probably had a question about work. That's what she said. You know, I don't believe her. Yeah, well, that's not my problem. You say you're dedicated to working with Marissa to do what's right for your son. But one thing's clear, you can't do that with Andy peeking through your windows. AJ's looking for you. Do I sense some tension? I'm just looking out for Marissa. Funny. So am I. What I'm really struggling with is not being in control. I mean, not being able to rely on myself. You can't rely on your sight, but that baby smell, it'll be sweeter than ever. And the feel of its cheek against yours, never softer. And you won't need a monitor because you'll hear every peep in the night. I can't wait. Honestly. I have so much to learn and, and, and relearn and I really do think it is possible. Do you hear that, little Hubbard, huh? I think that you are in pretty good hands. Day in the cosmetics world. Something like that. 
fuck a tonic coming right up. Actually, Steve, um, make it a sparkling water. I have to figure this out on my own. So I have to stay away from Ryan. Hey, I'm sorry that that took so long. I uh, found Madison in the hall. She's gone now. Hi, uh, you know, what you walked in on, you know, she's... I think she's just going through a really tough time right now. She loves you. But she's upset that she came over. She apologized and she took off. I just hate that she has to leave Fusion. I mean, she needs that job. She needs to separate herself from you. And she realized she can't work with me knowing I'm still with you. It's actually a very brave choice. But now she's left with no way to pay the rent. I'll give her a good severance package. I don't think that's going to be enough. Look, Madison's going to find another job. She's going to fall in love again, but she's not going to be able to do that until she distances herself from you. Like the way I had to cut myself off from David. And you did? You signed off on uh, his care? Well, I told Angie to find him a new advocate. Good. Good. Good riddance. Yeah. It's so sad that now I have some work to do. What, what do you mean now? Well, look at that tree. It's gonna take me years to catch up. I gotta start now. What? What are you doing? What'd you do that for? Surprise. I'm holding you hostage. Oh, you are, huh? Mm hmm Do I get to negotiate? No. You're completely mine until Emma gets home. Mm. How did it go? Did you get a tree? I think you know the answer to that. Tad said he saw you at the mansion watching us from the terrace. I had a question about a press release. And uh, without thinking, I just went over there. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't mess anything up for you. Come here. Everything's working out. Marissa's starting to trust me. She's going to drop that custody suit soon. And then we could be a real couple. I want that. And sometimes it, it seems like it's close, and then other times it feels like you're slipping away. And you got to trust me. you got to trust my plan. I do trust you, but you're my world now, JR. And if you let me down, I, 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 don't, I don't feel like I could handle that. I won't. We're going to have it all. I need to hear that. <laughs> and I do believe that we're going to have a long, happy future. And once we're together, really together, I'm going to have everything I ever dreamed of.